So this is important here, okay? At the end, we want to have this pen pattern has notches as well as the line that customer need. By the end of this video, you will know how to grade pants pattern in close 3D using the auto grading function. Easy step by step. I will share with you some tips and tricks to grade these pants pattern into multiple sizes from small, medium to large. Then we will bring these graded patterns to Adobe Illustrator and give them a finished look. To align them together, once again, we're gonna use this selection tool over here, click on it to select that. I'm going to click on that. See this three piece right here? So in this Adobe Illustrator, you don't have to marquee select the whole thing before it select. You only need to select where you can touch the pattern right there, right there. And then left click one on the sizes that you want to align to. Why we change the color in the first place so we will know what size we want to align to. So in this case, we want to align to the large size. So we want to click that blue side right there. Okay, so I didn't really select it because no highlighted on that. So I'm going to click once again to see this thick blue highlighted onto that pattern, okay? Then I can either come over here to this top menu and then click on that horizontal align center right there, or I can come over here to the property panel click on that and I can come down here to access that alignment tool right there. So we're going to select vertical align center and we already select this horizontal align center. You can click it one more time just to be sure. Then I'm going to click one on the page to this leg. Let me my key selects that patterns once again and I want to move it a little bit to the right right there. So as you can see right here, we just align this pattern together. It's perfect. Now we're going to align the front pants pattern. Once again, while that selection tool is active, I'm going to just select that three pattern right there. And I'm going to left click once again on that blue, which is a side large pattern. Okay, I'm going to click on it this time for real. When you see this thick blue highlighted, that mean that pattern we want to align all these pattern piece to, okay? And we call that in Adobe Illustrator is align to key objects. And I'm going to once again, select that horizontal align center, then select this vertical align center to align the pattern to. Now all the patterns align together perfectly. Okay, so this is a little bit confusing over here, but let me zoom in and I will show you where to align to. Okay, first of all, we want the pattern that look the same with one another, align them together and not the one that doesn't look the same. So if we zoom in closer, we will see right here, this pattern right here is the facing pattern, look the same as this facing pattern right here. So I'm going to click on that pattern then press down shift on the keyboard, click the two patterns pieces right here. Then click on that blue pattern. Be sure you release the shift key, okay? Then you see this blue highlighted appear and I'm going to click on this horizontal align center, vertical align center. Now the pattern are aligned together and I'm going to click on them and then drag it down here. Right there, just like that. We'll do the same right here. However, this one, I can just mark key selects because they are together. And I'm going to left click one right here.
Once again, because these patterns are stuck together, I'm going to click one, press on shift. My key selects these two and then release the shift and click on this pattern and align to center. Then I'm going to click on that pattern and bring it down here just a little bit. Okay, so this is what happened. I will align them again because sometimes we have to click it a couple of times. Okay, so as you can see right here, we kind of messed up with the side medium pockets right here because appropriately the side medium pocket should be as close as the side small as well as the side large. However, we messed that up. So what we can do right here, I'm going to delete that pattern right there. All right, and make a copy right here. So I will show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to come over here to the selection tool, click on it, then click on that pattern right there. And I'm going to press the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay. So to make a perfect copy for this pattern, I'm going to come over here to the selection tool, click on that pattern. Then I'm going to either play letter O on the keyboard, or I can come over here to this toolbar and select this reflection tool, click on it to select. Then I'm going to place my mouse right here on the center, and I'm going to press on option all on the keyboard and then left click to bring this reflect window. And we want vertical and angle to be 90 degree. And as you can see, I have the preview checks by default. If you are not, I recommend check that so you can see what the pattern lay. Then I'm going to select copy, okay? Now we just create this perfect copy that reflects from this medium side pan on to this other side. Then I'm going to come over here to the selection tool, click on it to select to get out the reflect tool and click on the page to deselect. All right, I'm going to align that pattern pieces together once again. Now, okay, we have a little issue here. We not only reflect the pattern, but we also reflect the grain line. So we don't want that. We want to remove that grain line itself, okay? I'm going to come over here to this layer panel, and I want to lock that small side layer as well as this large side except the medium layer. I'm going to leave that unlock. Now we can come over here and freely select that green line and then press the delete on the keyboard to delete. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so there are a couple of things we need to do here. So based on this finished pants pattern, we want this part a little more clean and no more line over here. So let us do that. See line right there. We don't need those lines. So I'm going to unlock all these layer and let remove that lines as well as this line. However, guys, this is depend on your preference as the designer. For this course is all about grading pattern as well as present them in a way that's easy for the client. But as a designer, you are the boss of what you want your pattern to look, okay? So let me zoom out a little bit. Right here, it needs a bit a little more cleaner. We will delete a couple of lines here. So I'm going to begin by locking this layer right here and I'm going to. So we don't need the second line, we only need the bottom line there. And as you notice that we will 
operate on the layer that does not lock. So that is the really cool thing about Adobe Illustrator. We lock the layer that we don't want to mess with and we can, you know, work on those layers that unlock all we want. So as you can see right here, that's what we want. And I'm going to once again, just a goal here to get it kind of clean. So a customer can use the pattern without a lot of confusion here. Okay. All right, so there is a couple more things that we can do here. The grain line over here, I'm going to delete the one that we don't need. Let me zoom in a little more. See right here, we only need one grain line. Let me lock that grain line we need, which is the size small, and we can delete the grain line we don't need. Just like that. So lock all the layer that we want to protect and unlock the layer that we see right here i can just delete all the line all we need is just the top is pattern line okay there you have a design lista i hope you find this video useful and remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos thank you